If you're a keyboard player in a rock band and you're wondering what to play in Highway to Hell, well, you're at the right place. My name is Marine and welcome to Online Rock Lessons. We have all been there. That moment when your band says, we're gonna play Highway to Hell by ACDC. And you're wondering what I'm gonna play. There's no keyboard in ACDC. Well, this is exactly the reason of this video. So usually when I play in the rock band and there's no keyboard, I love to use Hammond organ. This is perfect because it sounds so good with the guitars and the drums in a rock song. So the sound that I'm gonna use for today is gonna be the Hammond B3 from IK Multimedia plugins. And my settings are gonna be the four first drop bars out. I have the perks and the vibrato off. And we're also gonna use the Leslie, obviously. Now, the thing is, I love to use a little bit of distortion in the Hammond sound. So for this plugin, I'm gonna use this setting right here. And it gives us a little bit of distortion just like this. All right, so Highway to Hell is in the key of A major. And we are in 4-4, four, four. we have four beat of quarter note in each measure. Now we need a few chords. So we're gonna use E major, E, G sharp, and B. We have A major, A, C sharp, and E. We have a D major slash F sharp. So F sharp, A, and D, or just D, F sharp, and A. And the bass is gonna be playing an F sharp right here. We have a G major chord, so G, B, and D. We have a D major chord slash A, so D major and A on the bottom. And we also have just a regular D major chord, D, F sharp, and A. All right, so in this case, when we have guitars, drum, bass, vocals, you don't wanna be playing too bassy. We just wanna support harmonically and rhythmically the guitars right here. So what we're gonna do is we're mainly gonna be playing pads, but we're also gonna use the rhythm that everybody's playing. So if we take a look at the beginning of the song, the song starts with guitars, drum, and vocals. So I wouldn't play for that major part. I would follow the bass actually. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna play for the introduction and the first part of the verse. We're actually gonna start on the E major just right before we get in the first chorus. So what is nice to do is when you get in at some kind of a part in a song, you can use a slide to get in the chords and it creates a very cool effect to get on the chord. So we have E, like here, I usually use a power chord for this E, it sounds just better. So we have here, we can start the Leslie when we're in there and then we're gonna get into the chorus. So when we get in the chorus, we start on A right here. Now, this is where chord inversion is very important because Hyman organ doesn't have any sustain. So if I use a chord that is actually too far, it's gonna create a break between those two chords. That's not what we want. So usually I'm gonna use this chord inversion for A and, and I'm gonna keep the A on the top right here. So it's easier for the change between the A and the D major. Just like this. And we use pads, but don't forget the rhythm. So the D major is gonna be anticipated right here. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two. And we go to G, closer as possible right here, and to the D. And again, I'm gonna keep D on the bottom right here so it makes the transition between the two chords much easier. Another idea is that you can use your left hand between the chords to smooth out the changes. So we can do just like this. So it's just a movement of noise on the keys like this. It just sounds better because it doesn't cut between those two chords. All right, so if I start from the beginning of the chorus here, so we have, so we start here on A, we can start the Leslie, and then we have to D and G, D, back to A, D. And we have the anticipation here. 
we hold the D major because we're going back in the first. So we hold it. You can shut down the Leslie if you want to. And usually I love to play a slide going into the verse. So it's create this effect of shutting down. So it's really interesting. So chorus. Two, three, four, one, two. we're down back at the verse now again for the second verse we don't play and we get in at the end on the E major like this Leslie and back into the chorus D D and here we, we are in between of the chorus and the guitar solo. So we have a little bit of rhythm. We're gonna hold a chord, but we need to follow the rhythm of the song. So one, this one, we go to G, D, hold D, D, G, D, G, D, G, and we get in the guitar solo just like in the chorus. So with A and the same rhythm. Now at the third chorus right here, when we get back from the guitar solo, we're gonna have this big punch in the chords. And what I love to do is using this to create a gigantic slide. So. A. And here, we need to make sure that we're fast enough to play the G and the D and to be back on the A major chord. So, D, slide, go on to the G major, D major, and back to the chorus right here. All right, now for the ending, the very important part of the ending is to follow the rest of the band and the singer, because we're gonna be holding the D right here. I usually close the Leslie, maybe shut down a few drop bars, so the singer can improvise the vocals right there. And when the band goes to the A, we take the draw bars out. We can start the last leg. We can even go on the top at the end because this is a big wash of everything. Just like this. And what I'd love to do in between the wash is just a quick little lick with the A minor pentatonic and it ends so well. All right, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have other song suggestions, make sure you write them in the comment just below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to never miss a new video. If you like this kind of content, make sure you visit our website at onlinerocklessons.com. We have so much more tutorials just like this and masterclasses. So have fun with this and have a good practice.